Hello, my name is Jim Contover. This is The Current Buzz. Thank you for watching today. Today we have Justin and Catherine Bastinelli. Uh, they own a, a cafe in Chelmsford, a new cafe that just came out. If you're not aware of it, it's on Chelmsford Street. What number is it? 118. 118 uh, Chelmsford Street. We're going to talk about their cafe, why it started, why they got involved in a coffee shop. Uh, coffee shops have been around for thousands of years. People drink coffee. And uh, where do you get your coffee from? That's a good question. We get it from Donahue Brothers uh, out of Methuen. <laughs> So, oh, okay. Yeah, local, and uh, in my opinion, the best. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, the, it's it's a small cafe. It's not what you think uh, in regards to uh, the local, other local cafes. Uh, they own it. Uh, well, maybe they'll uh, expand. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> we talked about down the road. Yeah. Uh, they started their own business, and which is great. They have five children, also. We'll talk about that, and. Um, Welcome to the show. Appreciate it. Uh, well, Appreciate welcome you. to Chelmsford also. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's been I mean, uh, extremely welcoming. So it's been a great, great experience. Yeah, great. Let me, uh, how do you, uh, first of all, where did you go to school? I mean, let's get that out of the way. I go to school. Yeah. Well, I, I think I went uh, enough years to be a doctor. But uh, <laughs> I uh, personally, uh, I grew up in Methuen and then I uh, went to Andover High School. I uh, was in the Merrimack Valley pretty much leading up to college, and then I bounced around. I took a couple of years off, started in the restaurants, um, worked at sub shops, delivered pizzas, um, worked at all kinds of different restaurants, and uh, ended up going to UMass Amherst, and then I actually I went out to Chicago and went to Columbia. I'd love to tell everybody I went to Columbia University. Yeah, exactly. I'm not that smart. <laughs> uh, so I went to Columbia College and actually graduated with a radio broadcasting degree. Okay, and you work for NPR, right? No, no, oh. e ESPN. Uh, ESPN. ESPN, okay. yeah, yeah, ESPN. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not smart enough to work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I love sports. I was going to do sports uh, communication, right. any type of sports business, but um, as my wife Catherine will tell you, I don't shut up. So radio seemed to be in the cards. Well, we, okay. I grew First, up in Nashua. Nashua. I okay. went through the Nashua school system. I um, met Justin a few years later, started a family young, and here we are today. But well, how'd you meet him? At one of these restaurants? Restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Bartending right? at Bertucci is in Nashua. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a great restaurant. Yeah. We have one in, in, in Chelmsford. You know that. Yeah. Place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Um, yeah. quite a few. Yeah. No, I, I, Bertucci's was kind of my go-to everywhere I went. So <coughs> when I was, um, you know, Methuen and Andover, I, I worked at the small Bertucci's in Andover. When I went out, yeah, that uh, real, real small. One. Yeah, yeah, tiny, tiny, and, and then across from the uh, other coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, on that street, I think there's like seven different coffee shops. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but we, you know, when I went out to UMass Amherst, I, I went to Bertucci's. I moved out to Chicago. When I came back home, I needed a part-time job, and uh, oddly enough, I chose the Nashua Bertucci's, and. Um, Turned out not to be so odd, probably fate, because that's when I met Catherine. The rest is history. The rest mm -hmm. is history, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, he, and, he, and he talked to you, and you talked to him. And, yep. Yeah. It was just a and now you have five children. Mm -hmm. We do. We do. I, I married into the first three. I always say I got, you know, a buy one, get three free. Yeah, you know, bonus deal. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, instantly fell in love with all of them. And, um, you know, that was in 2008. And uh, we got married in 2011. We always talked about a family business. Uh, we had a ton of restaurant experience between us. And uh, we looked into a restaurant to uh, possibly you know, start up. But because of that, it, uh, it wouldn't have allowed us to be, I don't want to say be parents, but we wouldn't have been able to see our kids as much as we want. And, and I think the way we are, Family before everything. Especially in the restaurant business. I mean, the yeah. odd hours, if you're going to stay in that business. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know. It's difficult I mean, to we're, both yeah. be involved at that point. We were really close. We were really close. Um, really at a table like this, you know, talking about, you know, all the uh, different specifics and the locations and how the menu is going to be designed. And we, we backed we out. We backed out because mm -hmm. we'd be leaving when our kids got home from school That's to go to right. work and yeah. we'd be getting home 
uh, we joke at a time that they better be asleep or else we'll get mad at them. You <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah. So, um, so we backed out and I continued doing what I did. Uh, at the, you know, I worked in radio and um, you know, Catherine was kind of doing her thing as a nanny and, and some restaurant stuff. And, um, and then we thought, coffee, you know? Why not? Th those Better hours, hours are conducive yeah. to the kids. Yeah. So, yeah. Good yeah. point. Yeah, so that's kind of what brought so, us to that. So you sat down at the table, right, Catherine? Correct. And you decided a coffee shop was the mm -hmm. way to go. The hours Even were Even though more, you have a lot of mm -hmm. chains yeah. That, uh, yeah. around, did you yeah. think about that also? I mean, we thought about it, yeah. but then at the same time, we wanted to be able to dictate where, you know, what direction we were going. You know, and if we were in a chain or if we franchised, it wouldn't allow us to make those decisions ourselves. Right, good And point. ultimately, we wanted to be able to do what we Segular, wanted and put yeah. out what we want, you know? Yeah. So. And you have a, a great coffee and you have great uh, sandwiches. You also have a bakery there, right? Yes. Yeah, so so kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that still yeah. in the works? So we, we have muffins, bagels, yeah. they all come in par cooked. Okay. Um, uh, another local place and actually he's been a tremendous asset and more, even more, uh, just a great friend. Um, the owner of Perfectos who uh, he owns six different locations. And um, in, in the Merrimack Valley or yeah, Massachusetts? Yeah, yep, yep. Um, and, uh, Andover, North Andover, Tuxbury, Peabody. Um, Reading. Reading. So he brings in. So he gives it to us all case. frozen. Okay. Um, and, and we we have the oven and we put everything into the oven. Oh, okay. And heat it up fresh in the morning. All right. Um, we don't leave anything left over, you know. So. Yeah, I noticed that. Some of the times yeah. I go in there and there's a few. Yeah, everybody's going to be coming in at 4 30 asking yeah, for yeah. some extra money. <laughs> now, what time do you open? What are the hours, speaking of 4 30? What time do what time you open? Uh, we open at 6. During the week, we're open 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay. and then on the weekend, 7 a.m. Right. To, to 3 p.m. So you serve lunch? We serve breakfast, lunch, lunch at all times. And anytime. sort of dinner if you want yeah. a dinner or a sandwich. A panini could be dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Coffee. And I love mm -hmm. those. I love those. And Thank you. Yours are great. great. Thank you. Um, because I've been to the store a couple of times. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. You know. it was great sitting down and talking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Didn't that's have all the bright lights on us. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> well, that's how we uh, started and learned about each other. And, yeah. and I said, you know, come on my show and we'll talk about uh, the cafe. Yeah. And it's it's KJ's Cafe. Yep. KJ. Spelled C-A-F-F-E. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. KJ. I heard the C. I, thought, uh -oh. I said, no, K. Okay. Yeah. But... Um, you could have put a K in front of the cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cafe is is actually the Italian for coffee. Yeah, so, right. And being Italian, it kind of went hand in hand. Yeah, exactly. But uh, we don't have the accent over the E. We can't uh, put that. We do have that. You do that. We do on yeah. the sign. On the yeah. sign, yeah. Technically. We can't do it here, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Pretend. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Use our imagination. Yeah. So KJ means Justin and Catherine's yes. coffee shop, more yeah. or less. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so you started. So what made you pick Chemsford out of all the places so you were thinking about because uh, I, I think more or less Chelmsford picked us, you know, I, because I a would way to put it. yeah I would get in the car and I would just I'd go everywhere any you know whether it was online I'd look for places uh, spaces and and I just drove around and we actually found a place nearby that we weren't allowed to to look over because. Um, certain exclusions and the guy told us about 118 Chelmsford Street so I went and looked and, and I went and looked again and then I brought Catherine down and we just kind of at all hours of the day went down to the parking lot took a look did a lot of research saw the traffic I you know growing up in uh, the Merrimack Valley no route 110 is busy you're right off the highway at the Radisson you're right, right off of 490 yeah. Interstate 495 I mm -hmm. mean um, what better place uh, can you be yeah. especially in the summertime oh it's I, know? and we can't wait for that but, yeah um, exactly but it we really just fell in love with it you know right. and, and I mean I whether we we're on TV or talking to anybody 
Uh, I can't, we can't say enough how welcoming Chelmsford's been. I mean, yeah. it really has been just an unbelievable experience to the town hall, to the people coming in and talking to us. It's just, it's been Okay, well, tell us about the procedure in Gaza Town Hall. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, did it go smoothly? I mean, it did. It did. It, it, did, it yeah. did, you know. Were you impressed? I mean, did you think there were going to be a lot of hang ups? Or? To be honest, I was a little bit intimidated. Um, you know, it was, it was a process process that I started in a different town because we were going to go down a different road and then that kind of the, the landlord said no we're putting in a, a different thing you know uh, yeah. business here so it was one of those situations where I almost felt like I knew what I was getting myself into but every town's different um, the landlord tell me about him I mean was he selling it to you or did you so no we leased it um, it was it was, um, you know, the meat shop, and there was a big location, and they were telling us that they were going to give us half. Um, I never met the landlord, but I, you know, I did meet with the property manager, and we discussed a, a number of different. Um, he seems like a nice person. Really yeah, nice yeah. person. Yeah, nice yeah. Guy, I mean, yeah. very attentive to, yeah. to our needs and what you know. He's just very responsive. So, right. um, so really, it was just you know, kind of going through the process that, that I had never, it was uncharted territory for me and for us. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it, it was nice. You know, I went into the town hall. It was September of 2017 okay. when, we, when we signed the lease. Oh, wow. So it took a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, because they did have work to do, uh, demising it and putting up the wall and clearing everything out. And uh, we were able to get in there around May to finally start building. Wow. Yeah, so, but I, I had been talking with the town from September on, and just introducing ourselves and, and getting to know everybody, I figure it's some good people to know, and yeah. um, and it, it was great. They were great. I, I couldn't. I mean, they. Let me say, did they, they take your hand and walk you they, through. They did, they did. They did more than that. And, and when I say, even the end process, you know, when we were trying to get our final, you know, license, it, it you know. Mark Massiello, who is the, the Board of Health, I mean, he had the week off, but he still, he said, look, give me a call, let me know when you're ready, I'll take care of it, we'll get you that, because I want you to be able to open on Monday. And that, and was, thanks, that was Thanksgiving week, mm -hmm. so to do that, you know, I'll, I'll never forget that, that was really nice, and, and I know he didn't need to do that, but we were able to open on Monday, the 26th of November. And 2000, 2018, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was great, they, they've yeah. been great. I, I just that. want to get it on record, you know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. December 26, 2008. Yes, yes. Because yes. this might be shown over and over again. So. Yes, good point. So good that, point. that's. Yes. So History in the making. Yeah. The procedure, <laughs> you know, uh, did you have to get permits for milk and things like that? Everything. I mean, how was that? Uh, well, it's pretty much all inclusive with the food permit, you know. Oh, okay. So, um, but milk did have its own little category that you had to check off, but, um, right. but luckily we got it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so you, 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 get, you checked off all the boxes. Everything I needed. How long was the procedure from the beginning to the end? Because uh, I don't know. I mean. Oh, I, no. I, and, why, and if any other businesses want to come into Jemson, they, they can get an idea. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I think. It was funny because we're right next to Kaplansky Insurance, who you know basically took the other side of um, the meat shop when they yeah. when they you know split it up into two, and you know we were going through the process from like I said September of 2017, and then they signed their lease probably six months later, and then they were in there you know a month after they signed. So uh, just being the restaurant, being needing all kinds of different things right. and and the maintenance that goes into it, it was like, uh, you know, it was almost like for, I went in there, I said, really? You know, <laughs> you just walk in, throw rugs down, and now you're open. I'm going, you know, digging up floors and, and uh, you know, and my goodness, they've been great too because they had to deal with quite a bit of noise at times and, uh, right. you know, but. Now they come in all the time. Now, right? yeah, yeah, now. Well, now. you had brought over some muffins and stuff yeah. to kind of let them know what was going in next yeah. door too. Sure. You know? Yeah, but it helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neighborly, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big on the neighbors. So, so, um, so what surprised you the most working with the town besides him coming in? The surprised me the most. I would say, you know, sometimes How smooth it was. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you go into situations, 
that are that can be intimidating, taking that first step can be difficult. Right. And I think them helping me take that first step was probably the most surprising and somewhat gratifying because it, it, it showed me, okay, you know, this, so, we're, we're going to do this. this, this, is, yeah, this exactly. is good. We're going to going to get this done. And it became and real at that point. Excuse, excuse it became me. real yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good yeah. point. So it, it was nice. It was nice. And, you know, sometimes you don't want to take that first step. And sometimes you don't. And I, and I never want to regret that. So, yeah, right. um, you know, and you forget. But you have to take chances in life. That's part of life. You know, five children. Yeah, yeah, you know. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Just a little, yeah, little step. It, yeah, it's, 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 it's steps that you have to take. I mean, you know, uh, do I buy a house or do I buy a, a house with three apartments in it? That type of thing. Right. Do I get rental income? That type of thing. You have to take chances. And, and you sometimes forget that there, there's human beings on the other side of it, too. You know, you walk into this, this situation and, and you have the people at the town hall and they have their jobs and, and you can hear horror stories uh, from other people or, or, you know, wonderful stories. But... The, they're people too on the other side of that counter, you know. So they, they have this, the, the, I don't want to say sympathy, but they, they, they feel for you, and they're, they're going to guide you if you don't know. You ask, and they'll tell you. So when you opened up on the day after Christmas, right? Yeah. What did you expect? So no, well, we opened November twenty sixth. Oh, no, so yeah, so it was the, it was the Monday oh, after. Oh, I'm thinking no, but that's no, it's it's uh, kind of a, a crazy story because we opened up. The, the Monday after Thanksgiving, and you know we didn't want to advertise and or market. We just wanted to get all the kinks yeah. out, right? And um, you know we opened up on Monday, and it was kind of neat. Okay, people come in, you know, and, and then uh, and again, you know, it's 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 a two year lead up, so you wonder, you know. Are we gonna fail? Are we gonna, you know, is this gonna be yeah, a success? Exactly. You know, yeah. you, yeah. you don't really know. What yeah, exactly. Yeah, run through you, and then so the next day, um, you know, a few more people came in, and then, uh, and then we just started hearing all these people talking about uh, wonderful posts and reviews on Facebook and and on social media, and she kept, Catherine kept oh. telling me, and she'd get emotional. It would keep me know, up. Yeah. It does get, yeah. I get emotional. It would keep me up at night reading them. Oh, yeah. no kidding. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. like... They were very I, articulate. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just, just so welcoming yeah. and so nice. And um, and so, and I think I, I felt too busy to, to read that. I, I was like, I can't, I can't. You know, you just kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. keep going and keep going. And Wednesday was busier and Thursday was busier. Oh, my goodness. Then, by the time the weekend came around, yeah. there was a three-hour line to the door. You're kidding me. It was incredible. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, the plan was because now the kids didn't have school. So oh, okay. when the kids were in school, she, Catherine would go in at 4.30 and open, and I'd drop them off at school and get there around 8.30, and she'd go pick them up um, after 2. And, and so when the weekend came, our, yeah, we had a plan. We were ready. You know, here we are. Uh, <laughs> you go in, open it up, and, and I'll bring the kids in, and you take the kids home, and and I got there and saw the line out the door down the sidewalk. Wow. And I went, You're like, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I did. We have a situation. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, God bless my mom. She mm -hmm. came down and, and took, the kids took them out the back day. door. Yep. Yeah, she literally came in the, the back door. No kidding. Um, I didn't know what, you know, it was, it was nuts. It was, it was great. Yeah. But I was, we were nervous too because we didn't want. You know, with that long of a line, we didn't want people to be waiting too long for their food, or and we, uh, our poor staff were just thrown into it, just mm -hmm. yeah, getting slammed. And, and, yeah. and incredible. It was, and they have been incredible. And, and I could go on and on and on a lot longer than thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they were great, and, and great. it was tough and because they didn't know everything. You know, they right. don't know how to make all the sandwiches yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah, they don't yeah, know exactly. them by heart. So. But the people were great. Anybody we talked to, sorry for the wait, sorry for the long line. No, we get it. You just opened. So. Every wow, when they were there and they were standing in line. Mm -hmm. The only regret I have is that when you're standing in line, you should have a menu further out. Yeah, where people I know. Yeah, you could see, see it, it earlier, sooner. A little wide, uh, little we weren't wider. expecting it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> lines, yeah. And, and, and lettering a little a little. Wider, I, need some I had to get my glasses. Yeah. Get the menu. <laughs> gonna, so that's my suggestion. That. All right, no, and we'll take <laughs> that. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I think it's a good idea. Just 
you know, if there's a line to see what's available instead of being on top of something. Yeah, I think right. I was a little superstitious. If I put a, you know, assuming the line was yeah, going to go down, yeah. you know, it, but karma it gives, would come it, back. Yeah, it something. gives a good idea. Are you, are, are you expecting to put any add-ons or anything like that? I mean... It's always, more, yeah, it is tables. a work. We are actually oh, oh, working are. on that. Okay, We're currently We're in the working process. on that. Um, you know, we, we, and we've talked about that so many times, too, how the big things are almost easy, all right? You, right. you need equipment. You need right. refrigerators. You need food. You need this right. and that. But the little details, you know, we needed a shade because the sun comes in and it's hard to sit it right in the morning. In the morning yeah. mm -hmm. So we got a shade. Um, you have Wi-Fi. We have Wi-Fi. We yep. That's important. Yes, that, that, that was a big one. We yeah. knew we knew that one. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, when I was going down to do work before we opened, I needed that Wi-Fi. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, but yeah, so we're we're gonna get a couple more tables. We're gonna Good. rearrange a couple things just to make it um, easier for even a trash receptacle. We need one f closer to the door. So that's are, yeah, that's true. Uh, are you planning to have sofas or anything like that where we, people could sit around or something? We originally thought about doing yeah. that. However, if you're allowed a certain amount of seats, we wanted to be able to accommodate to more people. Yeah. And if we had couches and sofas, there wouldn't be enough seating. You know, it yeah. is a limited space, but you, yeah, we've, I think we've utilized it in a way that we thought would work. Now we need more. So yeah. I think you need one table where six people can sit down across. Yeah. I know. Other. Yeah. You know, That's. Yeah. Yeah. We've talked about that, yeah. too. We're trying to figure For a meeting out. or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I'm talking to Justin and Catherine uh, Bastinelli. Uh, they own the new uh, uh, coffee shop in town, KJ's Cafe. They were in the Lowell Sun on Thursday, December 27th. Yeah. Um, there's a little article about them. I cut that out. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> but I, I wanted them on my show prior to them being in the paper. But You were the okay. first. You were the first. That, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, and they have a nice little shop. You should go there and, and check it out. Uh, explain what you have for sandwiches. You want to? Yeah, Catherine. Catherine. Take Catherine it away. Yeah, you're the, you're the, <laughs> yeah, you're she, the She's the one. I mean, I, she's designed this I menu. I did make the menu. It, it's been okay. amazing. Well, the way we made the menu was kind of to appeal to everyone. You right. know, I mean, it's all over the place. Right. You know, you can have a veggie sandwich. You can have a caprese sandwich. So it's just we wanted to be able to appeal to a child or to anyone, really. So gluten bagels. Free? We have a gluten-free section. I'm gluten-free myself. Oh, okay. A lot of Justin's family is. So that was a necessity for our family. Right. but. Never mind just, you know, in this Public, day and age. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, you know, bagels, bagel sandwiches, paninis, wraps. I love Pretty much a little I bit of everything. Paninis. Pretty soon we'll have, you know, more salads and... Oh, that's a good idea. Um, things like that, so... Yeah, this is, that's we were saying, that's the fun part. You know, we had a couple of sandwiches that weren't selling great. Okay. So, swapped them out. So, so we swapped them out. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, the salads are deciding what kind of grab and goes. We're going to... One of the things um, <clears throat> we are going to put out is another display case, just to kind of, you know, a display refrigerated case that we can put the salads out there, or the cream cheese to sell, oh. or, or, you know. So you have takeout. There's a telephone number. Oh, yeah. I think we have it listed up there. Yeah. If people want to uh, copy it, uh, the telephone number. I, I don't remember the telephone number. Do you remember the telephone number? Yeah, it's 978-455-2543. Um, well, nine, nine, seven, seven, five, five, um, so go on the website. Look at the menu, see yep. what you mm -hmm. want, call in. Yeah. And do you have a lot of uh, takeouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some too. people will call in. Hey, I'll be there in five minutes and oh. we'll, we'll take it. We have catering, so um, a lot of people. So can you order catering. online? I mean, can I go? So we haven't gone that far. Okay. In fact, somebody asked Catherine the first day, you guys should do, you know, an app where you can order. And it's like. <laughs> and delivery. I got that one, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a process. Oh, like it's, it's just only a few it's months. It's a process. I, I know, I know. But we do want to get there. And we want everybody's, you know, suggestions mm -hmm. and advice because, you know, we always say. Oh, I appreciate the suggestions. We, yeah. yeah. We, we want to be able to get it right for everybody. This isn't, right. you know, what we like. It's what everybody likes. Now, do you, real quick, because it's almost over. Do you have whole milk and 1%, oh, yeah. 2%? We got it all. People, Almond milk Almond and skim yeah. milk. Now, do, do you need bigger storage now that you're going to? Bigger, bigger stories in regards. To yeah, we, yeah. The actually, works. we. See, I know these yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> Did you talk to someone? Yeah. <laughs> you know somebody on the inside. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. We're in the process of that. The next month, we're going to have some uh, 200 square feet of extra space to store some, so we can keep up with the, the wonderful volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Catherine, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Thanks yeah, for having us. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Justin, great. We'll see you in there soon. Yeah, we'll be there. Don't worry about that.